Welcome to Chem Whiteboard. Let's review and summarize reaction mechanisms. Chemical kinetics is all about the rates of chemical reactions. During a chemical reaction, the reactant molecules collide with each other and transform into products. The rate of a chemical reaction is the change in concentrations of reactants, or products, over time. Chemical kinetics can be used to understand reaction mechanisms or how chemical reactions occur. The reaction mechanism is the sequence of elementary reactions, or simple single steps, by which the overall reaction occurs. In this video, we will focus on the terms used in reaction mechanisms. After watching this video, we will be able to determine the molecularity of a reaction, identify the intermediates, and write the overall reaction for a given reaction mechanism. Let's take a look at a few examples to understand reaction mechanisms better. Our first example is the reaction between nitrogen dioxide gas and carbon monoxide gas. Here, one possible mechanism for the overall reaction involves two elementary steps. In the first step, step 1, we can see that two NO2 molecules react to form NO plus NO3. And in the second step, step 2, NO3 which was produced in step 1, reacts with a CO molecule to give NO2 and CO2. Now let's consider how to determine the molecularity of the elementary steps, identify the intermediates, and write the overall reaction for the two-step mechanism. We can determine the molecularity of an elementary reaction by looking at the number of reactant molecules that participate in a given step. Molecularity can be unimolecular, bimolecular, trimolecular, and so forth. In this example, there are two NO2 molecules involved in step 1. Therefore, we can consider the first step as a bimolecular reaction. In step 2, an NO3 molecule reacts with a CO molecule. Again we can see that there are two molecules involved, and therefore we can call this step a bimolecular reaction. Note that in this example, NO3 is produced in one step and gets consumed in the following step during the reaction. Therefore, it is considered an intermediate of this reaction. Keep in mind that intermediates are neither reactants nor products in the overall reaction. When we add up the elementary steps involved in a given mechanism, we end up with the overall reaction. So let's have all of our reactants on the left-hand side of the arrow. This would give us, 2 NO2 molecules, NO3, and CO. On the other hand, when we put all the products on the right-hand side of the arrow, we get, NO, NO3, NO2, and CO2. Here we can see that NO2 and NO3 appear on both sides of the reaction. Therefore they cancel out. And we get the overall reaction of NO2 plus CO, giving NO plus CO2. Our next example is the decomposition of ozone, O3, according to the following reaction mechanism. In this example, there is only one reactant molecule, O3, is involved in step 1. Therefore we can consider the first step as a unimolecular reaction. However, in step 2, there are two reactants involved, O3 and O. Therefore we can call step 2, a bimolecular reaction. Here, O is produced in step 1 and gets consumed in step 2 during the reaction. Therefore, O is an intermediate of this reaction. Now let's add up the two elementary steps to get the overall reaction. When we put all the reactants on the reactant side we get, 2 O3 molecules in an O, on the left hand side of the arrow. On the product side we get, O2, 1 O, and 2 O2 molecules. We can cancel out O, because it appears on both sides of the equation, and now we are left with 2 O3 molecules on the reactant side and 3 O2 molecules on the product side. Therefore our overall reaction is 2O3 molecules reacting to produce 3O2 molecules. Now let's consider a three-step reaction mechanism as shown here. The first two steps have only one reactant each, and thus we can call them unimolecular reactions. However, in step 3, there are two reactants involved C and O. Therefore we can call step 3, a bimolecular reaction. Here, C is produced in step 1 and gets consumed in step 3 during the reaction. Similarly, O is produced in step 2 and gets consumed in step 3 during the reaction. 
Therefore, both C and O are intermediates of this reaction. Now let's add up the three elementary reactions to get the overall reaction. When we put all the reactants on the reactant side we get CH4, CO2, C, and O. On the product side we get 2H2, C, CO, O and CO. We can cancel out C and O because they appear on both sides of the equation. Therefore, now we are left with CH4 and CO2 on the reactant side and 2 CO molecules and 2 H2 molecules on the product side. Therefore, our overall reaction is CH4 plus CO2 giving 2 CO plus 2 H2. For our final example, let's consider the following reaction mechanism. Here, there are two reactants, O3 and Cl, involved in step 1. Therefore, the first step is a bimolecular reaction. In step 2, again there are two reactants involved, O3, and ClO. Therefore we can call step 2, a bimolecular reaction. Here, ClO is produced in step 1 and gets consumed in step 2 during the reaction. Therefore, it is an intermediate of this reaction. Here, Cl is used in step 1, and regenerated in the following step. Therefore, we call Cl, a catalyst in this reaction. Note, that catalyst is a chemical species that participates in a chemical reaction and increases the reaction rate. However, it is not consumed during the reaction. Keep in mind that a catalyst is neither a reactant nor a product in the overall reaction. Now let's add up the two elementary steps to get the overall reaction. When we put all the reactants on the reactant side we get O3, Cl, O3, and ClO on the left-hand side of the arrow. On the product side we get O2, ClO, Cl and 2O2 molecules. We can cancel out Cl and ClO because they appear on both sides of the equation, and now we are left with 2O3 molecules on the reactant side and 3O2 molecules on the product side. Therefore our overall reaction is 2O3 molecules reacting to produce 3O2 molecules. In summary, a reaction mechanism is the sequence of single steps, or elementary steps, by which the overall reaction proceeds. Molecularity is the number of reactants that participate in a given step. A chemical species that is formed in one step and gets consumed in a subsequent step, is called an intermediate of that reaction. A catalyst is a chemical species used as a reactant in one step and regenerated in a subsequent step as a product. The overall reaction is the sum of all the elementary steps involved. I hope this video helped you review reaction mechanisms. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more video alerts.